person now consumes twice as much as they did 50 years ago. Ask your grandma. In her day, stewardship and resourcefulness and thrift were valued. So how did this happen? Shortly after World War II, these guys were figuring out how to ramp up the economy. Retailing analyst Victor LeBeau articulated the solution that's become the norm for the whole system. He said, our enormously productive economy demands that we make consumption our way of life, that we convert the buying and use of goods into rituals, that we seek our spiritual satisfaction, our ego satisfaction in consumption. We need things consumed, burned up, replaced, and discarded at an ever-accelerating rate. Advertisements and media in general plays a big role in this. Each of us in the U.S. is targeted with over 3,000 advertisements a day. We see more advertisements in one year than people 50 years ago saw in a lifetime. And if you think about it, what's the point of an ad except to make us unhappy with what we have? So 3,000 times a day, we're told our hair is wrong, our skin is wrong, our clothes are wrong, our furniture is wrong, our car is wrong. We are wrong, but it can all be made right if we just go shopping. Mr. Rogers, who was the TV guy here in the United States, said, the space between the television and the viewer should be sacred. It comes down to money. If they can sell it, if it, if it helps humanity, I don't believe that the, the, the make or break point for anything that's done in the media, for the most part, 99%, is about the influence on the consumer. It's about can we sell it? And if they could sell it and it's good for you, they'll sell it. But if they sell it and it's not good for you, they'll sell it anyway. In my world, I think that matters greatly on the impact of the listener because it changes their lives one way or the other. Part of the problem is people are too focused on their own their own little world, their own little lives, what it is they want to accomplish, when in fact there's really nothing you can accomplish that feels quite as happy as doing it with other people. And I, so I think there's been too much of the entrepreneurial greed, me, me, me focus in the last few decades. And I do think that people have become aware that we're becoming more unhappy, not just in the United States, but all over the world. Depression rates are rising faster. I don't know that people are always aware of it until you ask powerful questions. And the research is so interesting on this that if you ask college students what they aspire to, they talk about money. But if you ask them what the best thing was that happened to them in the last month, they, they mention experiences with other people. They never mention possessions. So on an intuitive level, people do understand what it is that brings them joy, but sometimes they have to find out the hard way. So we're in this ridiculous situation where we go to work, maybe two jobs even, and we come home and we're exhausted. So we plop down on our new couch and watch TV, and the commercials tell us, you suck. So you gotta go to the mall to buy something to feel better, and then you gotta go to work more to pay for the stuff you just bought. So you come home and you're more tired, so you sit down and you watch more TV, and it tells you to go to the mall again, and we're on this crazy work, watch, spend treadmill, and we could just stop. <laughs> 